The news about the controversial county courthouse in downtown Santa Fe seems to be keeping on coming. First, it was the design. Some said too tall, others said out of character. Now it's what's underground. The construction project has come to a sudden halt as county officials gathered to find out more about gasoline contamination found in the area where they intended to build the lower floor of a two-story underground garage. We talked with Jim Norton of the State Environment Department about what might be there. Well, unfortunately, we don't know the extent of the pollution. We have asked the county for some information that will help us to determine what the extent of the pollution is, but we haven't received that information yet, and so we don't have a a thorough sense of uh, how big a problem it is at this stage. There were two nearby um, underground gasoline tanks that leaked. These were from old gas stations that were in that area uh, way back as far as the 1920s. And um, we have done some work to clean up the pollution from those two old uh, gas tanks, Uh, but on the county property, Uh, Because we don't have the information yet from the county, uh, we just don't know the extent of of the pollution there. Can this stuff even be cleaned up? Um, We think it would be a bad idea to not um, consult with the state and decide and figure out uh, from us what additional cleanup needs to happen. And again, we need additional information from the county uh, that will help us to determine uh, what the next steps are. Now, not too far away is the rail yard with a much deeper parking garage. Any pollution, any contamination problems there? I am not aware of any pollution problems that that, that came up at at that particular site. Also nearby, the Santa Fe River, any problems with contamination leaking to the river? Um, I'm I'm not aware of any of the pollution from these um, underground tanks that has moved to uh, the Santa Fe River uh, one of the two sites we're done with the cleanup on, and uh, we're monitoring uh, further uh, um, developments on that one, monitoring the groundwater, that is. And then on, on the other old site, there's ongoing work that's, going, that's taking place now uh, to, to do the cleanup there. And my understanding is <clears throat> that, um, that that's... Uh, um, barring um, unexpected changes in the, um, the, you know, the water underneath that site, that um, that's not expected to, to be moving off of the, the current location. Jim Norton at the State Environment Department. Well, County Commissioners Liz Stefanix and Kathy Holian want more information before the project continues, and they both think there should be a public hearing on the question. Kathy Holian is on the line. We were all taken by surprise with this news about the contamination and the slowdown in construction. When did you first hear about it? Well, I've uh, known about the gas leak for some time now, maybe a month or so. But in the beginning, I originally thought that it was just that they were running into contaminated dirt and that the problem could be solved by taking the dirt away and disposing of it properly. But then it's become clearer in the last few days that it's a more serious situation and it has to do with the groundwater. It has to do with when they dug deep enough that they were getting into the groundwater. Um, you know, they were starting to hit groundwater. Apparently the, the water table is quite high there. Does it appear to you that this would be a danger then, uh, even to the, the smaller garage? Um, well, that's what we have to find out. We just have to get bring in our environmental consultants and really question them, have them make a presentation to us as to what they think the situation is, what our options are, and what those options are going to cost. The State Environment well, Department indicates they haven't had access to information from the county. Uh, what do you think about that? Do you, do you know if they have? I don't know the specifics specifics of that, but I do know that Roman Abeda, our county manager, is going to invite them to our public meeting as well. When was the decision made, and who made it, to make this smaller parking garage instead of the two-story garage? 
Well, it was, I think, proposed just last week. The first I heard of it was just a couple of days, uh, like, I guess it was, when was it? It was, well, it was probably last Friday or something like that, that I heard about that. I assume that it was um, our, you know, the Joseph who had um, made that decision. But in any event, I think that we are sort of backing up now, and I think that it's going to be up to the county commissioners to make the decision as to how we proceed. Well, changing the structure of the building, would that not have been a county commission decision rather than an administrative decision? Um it it wasn't last week, but I think that the county commissioners now all feel that this is a serious enough situation that we have to be the ones to make the decision about what happens. Possibly one of the questions you'll be exploring, at least asking people about, is whether the project as envisioned now can even go ahead. Correct. Correct. I mean, that's the first question that we have to ask. First of all, we have to ask, what is the safety situation this very minute with this hole in the ground? You know, what have we got going on here now at this at this time? And then we have to ask the question that if we do go with the option of just having one level of parking, will it be safe? Can we be assured that it will be safe? When do you think the public meeting will be held? Um, Roman said that it would be either uh, er- next week or early the following week. It will be in the evening. It will be at 6 o'clock so that the public can attend. And we will invite our environmental, of course, our environmental consultants and the um, New Mexico Environment Department and our staff to give us a full briefing of what the situation is and what our options are. County Commissioner Kathy Holigan with us on At Noon. Many thanks.